So recently I did a deep dive into the mathematics behind shields, how hit points and how resistance are calculated. But one of the questions that popped up in the comment section from you guys was, well, what about regen? And you have to write, I didn't cover regen, so that's what we're going to do today. The D2 merch store is open. There are t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, mugs and tote bags with many cool designs. Head down to the link in the video description and get yourself your merchandise today. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Strategy. So let's talk about shield regeneration. We're going to first talk about the normal regeneration and then we're going to look at the broken regen rate. Every shield generator has a regeneration rate and that is just the number of hit points it regenerating every second. It is simple as that so if you have a ship let's say it has 100 shielded points you're currently sitting at zero or well very close to zero they haven't dropped yet um and you recharge let's say one hit point per second well in that case it will take you 100 seconds to fully recharge your shield it's uh, reaching rates linearly all the time it's not like there's a peak where it regions faster halfway up it just hit point it's just a number of hit points every second regardless of how much shield you have the only thing that can stop this recharge rate is if you take damage so whenever someone is shooting at the ship you can see here as the example when we were actually testing this that it just stops for about two seconds and then it resumes its regeneration cycle so as long as you're taking damage your shield will not recharge it's only once you no longer take damage that the shield will then once again begin to recharge so next let's talk about the broken regeneration rate now this is a little different first of all you will notice that the broken regen rate is often a lot higher than your normal regen rate often like a factor of four higher so it's a lot quicker it recharges a lot faster furthermore when your shields go down it will begin to recharge from zero percent and even though you will see the counter counting up to 100 it's actually only recharging 50 percent of your shielded points so again if we take the example from before if you have a ship with 100 hit points when the ship is full when the shield is full and the shield drops it will then begin its um its broken regeneration rate so it will recharge only 50 hit points but it will do that at the increased um regen rate with the broken shield let's say that's five seconds so that means you have to recharge 50 hit points with five uh, hit points per second so it takes you 10 seconds um in this thought of experimental case here also it's important to note that broken regeneration is not stopped by damage so you will still recharge your shields as long as you have um as long as you have engine uh, energy in your capacitor of course all these tests is done under the assumption that you have enough power in your system capacitor to constantly keep the shield booster fed with all the um, power that it needs of course if you run out of energy in your system capacitor well your regen rate is going to be slowed and that is the same for both broken and unbroken regen then it will just recharge as fast as it can based on the amount of energy that you're putting into the shields i hope that answered your questions give the video a like subscribe to the channel and until next time i will see you guys in space